What's up, party people? It's your boy Silva, and I'm gonna show you how to maximize your frames as well as get your game looking party and ready or not. I'm gonna go through my graphic settings, which is the meat and potatoes of your performance, and one other Steam launch setting that will increase your frames. All right, enough yap. The first setting I change is the graphics preset all the way to custom. Screen mode should be in full screen. Resolution should be maxed out to your monitor's resolution. The scale should be 100. Field of view is preference. I like 90. Everything else I don't touch, I leave default. And onto the advanced graphics graphics options for texture quality i set this to high shadows i leave on low post process i put on low anti-aliasing i set to medium vfx ambient occlusion and reflection i leave on low and view distance i set to epic motion blur i turn off v-sync i turn off bounce light i turn off enable world decals i turn off everything else is off to disabled and important before you leave the screen Please hit apply settings in the bottom right. You don't know how many times people don't hit apply settings and they wonder why their game still looks the same. Hit the button, spam the button in the bottom right. Okay, that was the meat of it. Now onto the potatoes. You're gonna wanna open Steam and find ready or not in your library. You're gonna right click and hit properties. And in the first general tab under the selected launch option, you're going to click on the drop down and select the direct X11 option. By default, it's on 12 and 12 demands Higher performance from your computer so i would set this to 11. once you select it you will need to do a restart of your game for it to apply all right let's go through some of the gameplay settings that a lot of you ask in the comments about mouse sensitivity is preference my mouse has 1600 dpi or dots per inch if that sounded like mambo jumbo don't worry about it just tweak with the slider and see what feels comfortable for you free look sensitivity i do up a little bit to one and a quarter ads zoom i turn off this is to create a more immersive game when you are looking through your one time optics this only affects one time sights all the other scopes will automatically zoom whatever it's set to in game the shotgun reload method i change it from all shells to single shell this is so you're not stuck in a reload all shell animation when you just want to quickly top off or add a few shells to your shotgun and this is a big one i get in the comment section how to change your ready position from low to high it's this setting right here low ready style Change from low to high. Now you can look cool like an operator and point your gun up instead of down. If you've seen my commander mode guide, you know I changed my default command to hold slash resume. When it comes to the heads up display, I do like a clean interface, so I disable all these scores. I also disable the damaged paper doll and the hot key hints. And another question I get asked a lot in the comments is the server side checksum. It only applies to the host and online lobbies, but having it enabled forces all other players joining your lobby to have the same mods installed or the same game version disabling it will allow anybody joining your lobby to have whatever mods they want installed which can lead to issues if there's compatibility issues with your mods and theirs now quickly through audio use the master volume to affect the volume of all channels so if your game is too loud or too low you use the master slider otherwise i wouldn't touch the rest no matter what game it is no matter how good the soundtrack is i just don't like music in my game so i always turn that off and in the audio tab here's where you can also set subtitles and the language of it if you prefer it okay now on to the keybinds the first keybind i change is crouch i clear that and i put on toggle crouch and i change it from control to c the next keybind i change is the lean left and right i clear those and i put it to toggle lean left and right I put that still to Q and E. And the free look keybind, I change from caps locks to middle mouse button onto equipment. The first thing I change is the toggle laser light attachment. I change that to X. Drop chem light, I change that to G. And the rest I leave the same. For toggle secondary sight, I use one of my side mouse buttons. Quick throw, I do clear the keybind since I want to know which throwable I have in my hand before I throw it. And here's another big one. By default, the interact and yell for compliance actions are set to the same keybind. In order to separate this, you just clear it and you set a separate keybind for each. So interact, I want on F and yell for compliance, I want on caps lock. This will avoid you just yelling out in the open, giving away your position when you're just trying to interact with something. Melee, I change to control. Fire select, I change to B. Hold low ready, I change to spacebar. And toggle low ready, I just clear it. All right, now 
teamwork. The open SWAT command interface, I changed from the middle mouse button to my side mouse button. And I do remove the push to talk. I would set this keybind to something easy to press if you do play online and you're not using a separate comms channel like Discord or TeamSpeak. I only play single player or in separate comms channels, so I just don't have this bound. For replay, I changed my move down to whatever you have your crouch set to. I use C for crouch. And under miscellaneous, I changed my ready up to P. That is because there's a certain mod I use that uses the Y keybind. So I changed this ready up from Y to P. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and hit the like button for me. Peeps, I know, I know, we hit a thousand subs. It's pretty sick, but I haven't posted gameplay or mod reviews in a while. Trust me, it's on my agenda to hang tight or hang loose. Get out of here.